welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would get on and just keep working my way through the palettes i purchased over summer and i'm really excited to use this one i'm sorry it took me so long but it's absolutely beautiful and i've been looking at it and i'm like i really need to use this and then today i was going through the palettes and i was like oh boy i really need to use this because i feel like everybody's getting ready to push summertime out <laughs> it's just gonna be like all fall stuff even though it's august still you know everybody's like oh it's fall before you know september or whatever i'm like i don't know it's too hot still i'm ready for fall i will be thoroughly excited when it gets here but anyway so that is what my decision was based off today so without further ado i am using the new the i shouldn't say the newest because there is the the new one that just came out what is it the fuji I don't even know the whole name of it, but I ordered it. It should be here tomorrow. Bless, oh goodness, look at me. Anyway, um, so this is the Nomad Keys Beachy and Peachy palette. I'm super excited. It's super pretty. It's based off the Florida Keys. And I just love Nomad for how they do um, their palettes and pick a different place. It's so fun. It's such a fun palette. And then let me see. Ah, I hate bending that backwards. Here's what the palette looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. Obviously, it's not just a, hey, this is a beachy summertime palette. You can use this anytime throughout the year. But obviously, these colors are associated with, like, beachy. And you think of, like, beachy paradise, Florida. It's the keys. It's the keys. It just sums it up. I also got the bag that came with it and i absolutely love it absolutely love it got it super quick we actually used it for we were going to a summer party with the kids and packed it full of everything it's just so fun i really like it it's just a nice canvas bag but it was bigger than like what i was expecting it does have a couple pockets inside i'm not very good at this because this isn't my like forte to show off like things i purchased but there's two there's two pockets in here and then i think it's the same oh no there's a velcro pocket on the other side it's a nice large velcro pocket and then it actually has pockets on the outside so you can put your drinks in there stay hydrated you know you like your water bottles so anyway i got all of that together um just a little side note i've been playing around with different face products so i thought i would make mention of them i'm not going to do this every video because i feel like i tend to get in like a routine with like my face and i usually like to mix up my eyeshadows and try different palettes but over the summer i did purchase some stuff from cover fx and i finally got to play around with this cover X, cover fx power play foundation and i got the shade l1 and i used that today and i thought it went on really nice i actually used the blurring primer that they have i didn't bring it over here for some silly reason but i did use that before i used it i also used the cover fx skin discovered long wear concealer it is also in l1 so it's a very large very large and it's very um it's a very stiff doe foot applicator but it's fine it's neither here nor there and then i got to dig into some of the p louise that i've been waiting to use so i have the protect your pout for the sweetest kisses that taste oh so good i love these um this one is in irish cream and then i use the p louise stay shining um lucky liqueur so these came together put those on that's why my lips look so glossy and then i use the p louise the cheek of it um peach of my heart i really like these i waited until they came on sale and i ordered a couple of them i think it was like three for 18 so when i did my last p louise order probably the beginning of summer like right before i say that it was probably may a little prior to may maybe april maybe april so i finally got to open this up or this is yeah i don't think this is one i'd used yet i've used it before i have another color so i really like it it's really light it does a nice flush of color 
And then these I also purchased at the same time. There's three of them. It is the Magic Dust Give the Stars Some Competition. This is the Loose Highlighter Powder. And this one is in Magic Peach. So I went ahead and put that on. That's what my highlight is. It's very intense when it goes on. But I put it on with a brush. And then there's actually a... They're so cute. Like I said, there's three of them. There's actually a little applicator in here. I keep this thing on because otherwise I feel like it's going to go everywhere. So I put it on with a brush. And then I dabbed it with that. Put a little bit more on with a brush. And then I used my damp um, sponge to go over it to blend it in. And it definitely tones it down. But it's super pretty. And it has a nice peachy tone. So it complements the blush really well in my estimation. And then depending on how my eyes turn out. I also had these magic wands from P. Louise that I haven't been able to try yet. So I thought maybe I could try some of those or one of those, two of those, whatever. So anyway, so let's get back to it. I just really have really, really enjoyed Nomad's palette since trying them. So the Keys one is still available. It's $49, but I know you can go on and find a code to get a couple bucks off. Oh, these colors are so pretty. They're super intense. Look how pretty these two are. And then I'm thinking these are nice and pale, some pale pastels. And then you got some more into like neon colors. These shimmers look beautiful. These blues, you guys know me and these blues. They look super pretty. I know I want to use, I want to use something out of this row here. I do know that. So I don't know. Let's just play around with it and see what happens. Start, I'm going to pick up this Beauty Bay BB202 brush, smaller fluffy brush. Mm. They're so pretty with the embossing on them, the little pictures. I hate to stick my brush in there and mess them up, but I don't think it will. I don't even know if that's gonna pick up. See the palm tree there? Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Close to Perfect first. that all on the inner corner that has a very good color payoff that is very pretty that went on very well with just stippling the color on now i'm gonna go in with key lime time i'm just gonna clean that same brush off i feel like this is gonna be super intense but i don't know oh, that is pretty it does remind me of key lime pie like what you would think key lime pie is supposed to taste like i went to the keys for my honeymoon we had a good time. I was a little disappointed. I was so excited to go into like Sloppy Joe's. And I just, I don't know. I was just disappointed. It wasn't as good as what like I expected it to be. The way people talk about it. I don't know. Because I, I like definitely grew up on Sloppy Joe's. Like out in the can. But you know. My mom did what she could. Five kids. So. I just. A little disappointed in that. I did have fun going around and walking and tasting like the different key lime pies though i was surprised how citrusy some of them are so let's see they went on very nice they went over top of each other nicely so i think what i want to do i really want to see what this yellow looks like but i might save that yellow for with the blues so maybe I'm going to go in with Key Largo here. Key Largo, Montego, baby. Montego. <laughs> anyway. Now I'm going to pick that up on this Morphe M124 brush. And I'm trying to be very careful with how I'm picking it up. Because I feel, again, like I just don't want to mess up that pretty little picture. I'm going to pick that up and I'm actually going to get it wet and look. 
See, I told you I didn't use all my spray. So I'm gonna use the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. such a pretty color. It really is. Clean that brush off. And then I'm going to go in with the southernmost point. Oh man, looking for that thing. We were walking and walking and walking forever. I felt like it was forever to find that point in the keys. We had made a wrong turn. Somebody told us the wrong way. But anyway, we made it there. I went in a little heavy right there. My bad. Let me get that wet. I'm gonna dab over where those two meet up to get a nice blend. Oops. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that Key Largo color. Again, blend over where the two of them meet up. They're pretty, like if you were gonna do a monochromatic look. They do play nicely together. I do appreciate the little parchment paper they put in there rather than putting plastic in there. I do like that. Uh, that purple seems really deep. Maybe, I don't know what I wanna do on the outer corner. I wanna see what this purple's like. I wonder if this purple is as deep as it looks. So I'm going to pick up this Blend Bunny B2 brush and I'm going to pick up this purple color called Key West and I'm going to put that out here. And I'm going to bring it into the inner crease. And then I'm going to go back in with that first brush. And just ever so lightly blend over top. And obviously you could have done this step sooner. I actually really appreciate this color that it's not super intense, that it's more buildable, that it's not just, hey, blam, there's a huge amount of color on your face. I'm gonna go back in with that southernmost point color, the green shimmer and blend that over top, which is why I say I could have put that, I should have, could have, it doesn't matter, but I should have put it on first, this outer corner, and then did my shimmers, but you know, it is what it is. So there we go. I'm gonna deepen that up just a little bit. I think I might take, I really wanna see what this color looks like. Far from normal. So I think I'm actually going to take that color and put that underneath my eye. So I'm going to pick that up on this AOA Studio E128 brush. It's got a lot of pigment to it. Let's see. That is very yellow. It looks like it have more like of a more of a green tint to it in the pan. So that's what I was curious to see what it was gonna look like, but that is very yellow. That's almost like a, I feel like a sunflower, sunflower-esque yellow. I should have probably gone in with a lighter yellow. I don't know, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more green. So I could have gone in with this. I think I'm gonna pick up this color now. This Conk Republic. Oh, we're gonna use a little old Filbert. Beloved Filbert, how oh, I've missed the, I don't know, let me get, pick some of that up, get it wet. I'm bring that yellow into the inner corner. Definitely feel like that is a festival on my eye. <laughs> oh. Like I said, if you've been here for a while, I don't always do 
the best color combos but I do try to use as many of the colors as possible so you guys know what they look like because sometimes looking at a palette is really deceiving and then if you see it on here and you're like oh gosh that color looks way different and then maybe you don't want to get a palette or you do want to get a palette based on how that color actually looks so I think I'm gonna leave that eye just like that and then I don't know if I want to try maybe this pink like I don't even know what these look like because I hadn't even had a chance to like really open them all duochrome oh crystal carriage and that's what it looks like I don't know let's try that's got all kinds of colors I don't know that it's really gonna pick up these might be better used on the eye again to get like a colorful uh, liner like if you're doing a really toned down shadow and then just putting that liner on so anyway there's that so I'm gonna go ahead and hop over to the other eye I'm gonna pick up this Beauty Bay BB 205 brush and I think I'm gonna go in with these two colors. I'm gonna start with this Shipwreck Trail. And then I'm gonna go in with, ooh, am I? No, I'm gonna go in with Marathon over here. So I'm gonna pick up that Shipwreck Trails. That one on very nice it's a nice peachy tone stipple that on I'm gonna clean that brush off and then I'm gonna go in with that marathon color That applied really nice. Build it up just a smidge. This stinking hair. pick up a little bit more of that shipwreck and blend dab and blend right over where they meet up so it doesn't look quite so harsh and then what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that outer corner I'm gonna go in with sea meet sky see how deep that blue is more I go in there it's a little patchy right here but again does that mean that my skin because I didn't really have I didn't feel like I had a whole lot of that over there so I'm gonna go in with paradise found next and I'm gonna pick that up on this morphe m124 brush it is very pretty I'm gonna go ahead and put oh this color is super soft. I don't know if this is going to pick up. I don't want it to tip out. Can you see the big chunk I took out of it? So just beware. It might be how that picture was pressed in there too. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get it wet. That is such a pretty color. Ooh, love that. Now I'm gonna pick up, hmm, I'm gonna pick up Rum Runner right here. Mm, 
just gonna dab over where they meet up. Get a nice blend. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that Paradise Found and dab. Where they blend there. Just to get a nice blend, it adds a little dimension there. It's like a pretty purple-esque color, purple-ish. Then that into the inner corner. And then for the bottom, I think I want to go in with this Sunset Celebration right here. So I'm going to pick that up with that AOA Studio brush I used earlier. I cleaned it off. Woo! She's got a lot of color. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that Rum Runner color. I'm going to get it wet and I'm going to put it in the inner corner and then bring it down a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to pick up Old Filbert and I'm going to go in with Come as you are, get it wet, and I'm gonna get that as close. Oop. Underneath that lash line as possible. Oh, that's such a pretty color. We're struggling there for a little bit. But I got that chunk off. Ooh, that's pretty. Just went down, just went under to blend it out a little bit, soften that edge. So I think, I don't know, we're here. So I'm gonna try, which one is this? This says Bibbidi Blue. So here it is. But it definitely looks purplish blue. So I'm just gonna put that underneath. I don't know, that might clash. It'd be a little too much with that blue underneath. Hmm, I should do something a little more contrasting. Anyway, here we are. This is why we're here to have fun, make mistakes, because it all washes off. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eyes and I'll be right Okay, so here are the finished eyes. I stayed zoomed in because I just wanted you to see. I'm going to close. Hopefully you can pick up the amount of shimmer. It's so pretty. Like when I look in the mirror, because when I put it straight on, I can see it in the mirror and just the amount of shimmer and shimmer to it. It's so pretty. Here is the finished looks. I'll go ahead and cover one eye. And then I'll cover the other eye. There you go. Let me zoom out a bit. So I don't know. I mean, I like it. It's it's different. It's a lot. At first, I was kind of like, mm, wasn't so sure. I mean, there are some little things that I would change about the look itself. You know, doing that darker liner there, I'd probably do something lighter because I like to open it up, especially when I use really dark colors. But for whatever reason, I was like, oh, let's use the blue, and it it definitely wasn't. It definitely didn't look like that. It's purple. It just kind of blends in with that blue down here. But I absolutely, as far as the palette goes, I absolutely love how all the colors went on. Like I don't have any qualms or any issues with any of them. Like I was saying a little patchy right here, but I tend to have a little spot right here on each eye that just doesn't seem to pick up a lot of color. Um, down here, you know, my color choice here, I really thought that was going to be more of like a greenish rather than coming out more like that like deeper sunflower yellow so I probably wouldn't do that but shoot I'd go out like this I don't care <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway um for my lips I used a beauty bay what is this a lip liner I don't know it was it was in a pack it was like a duo pack so anyway this one's in saddle it's like a gel liner. I don't like that it like runs there, but it's darker, but I really like it. And then I went over top of it with this Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in haze. 
this is when I was trying to find like that really nice light concealer color. I really like this one. I really like my neutral nude beiges. So I just put that over top. Doesn't look like it does it. There we go. I just think when I was doing my blending, I just blended a little too much. Blended it all together. So, anyhow, that's what I used on my lips. And then, you saw what I did for my eyes. And then, for my eyeliner, I just used my KVD Trooper Liner. And then I just used the Anastasia Mascara. This is Lash Brag. I don't know. I really need to find a good mascara that doesn't bleed like underneath. I have all these ones that say they don't do it. And then when I go to work, probably about seven hours into work, I go in the bathroom and I have like black smudges. But again, my eyes are really hooded. I'm very animated when I talk. So it could just be me. And I use setting powder and everything underneath. But there's obviously something I'm doing maybe. But anyhow, that's that. But as far as the palette, I, I love it. I Like I said, I really enjoyed using all the Nomad palettes that I've purchased so far. I can't wait for the new one. I absolutely love this one. I could see myself grabbing it frequently. I really love this these colors over here. But I absolutely love the colors here as well. I really like them all. They went on really nice. And for $49, I think that's less expensive than a lot of indie brands. <laughs> at this point in time. Like I said, I've had a just an issue. A lot of them seem like they're just really blowing their palette prices out of the water. And I'm like, whoa, calm yourself. Um, but I don't know. I feel like that about everything. Everything's just way out of whack, but this isn't the time to discuss it, but I really like it. Oh, I must have smudged my eyeliner right there. Anyway, don't judge me. I didn't put lashes on. I didn't feel like it, but Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope if you were thinking about getting this palette, this video helped you decide whether you want to or don't. If you have this palette and you love it, let me know. If you have this palette and you're like, meh, let me know that too. I love talking to you guys. A um, little side note, if you hear any snoring or any noise, my little one is over there. He's super congested. He's been sick. We've been home all weekend. Kept him home from school on Friday. So he's super congested. We're doing all the things. But he has conked out. And I was like, well, you're just going to stay in here and I'm going to do a video. But there were a couple times where he was turning. He had like a little snore. And I'm like, you poor thing. So anyway, I do apologize if, if you heard that. And we're like, what in the world? It's not the pug. It's my little one. So I apologize. He's so cute. He's getting so big. He's going to be fine. I can't believe he's going to be five already. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this. 